All right, come on, what we got here? Randall! Oh! Nice. Dude, that's the sickest one so far. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection, and to a significantly lesser extent, Disney. And the creator of this channel actually did have a scare route back in the original days of Monsters, Inc. You gave her treats. <laughs> That's how we actually met. Oh, okay. <clears> Throat still hurts. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Pixar universe camera flip. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot brighter. Red pack music boy is here. And today is going to be an amazing day because we're going to be dabbling in one of the universes we rarely ever step into. If you guys are new to this channel, obviously I collect a lot of Nickelodeon and SpongeBob stuff. And I also have a Cartoon Network room. And a very small wall in that same room. There's also a <laughs> Disney shelf. I do not collect all Disney stuff because there's so much Disney stuff out there. But when Disney drops items that are amazing, I'm so glad that we have a space for it because I love collecting Disney stuff. And the day they dropped the product that I couldn't pass up, and that's these guys right here. They made a Pixar variety pack of mystery figures. Look at how many characters there are. There's at least five. There's five and just this family. We're going to be trying to collect all those different Pixar characters. And if you guys don't know, even more than Disney, I'd say, honestly, I love Pixar. We have an entire collection based off of Toy Story that is separate from the Disney collection just because I love Toy Story so much. And it was such a huge part of my childhood. And that, of course, being a Pixar movie. And I love every property on here. So we're going to be trying to collect all 25 of them. 25. But the good thing is this bag comes with 35 sachets or bolas. But we're going to try to hunt for that whole set. Hopefully we can get them in this bag of 35. And not just that, they were pretty affordable. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's pop them open. Breaking them down though, these are made by Mattel and this is the micro collection. And the place I've previously seen, you know, being a pretty big collector here, I've seen the micro machines over at Dollar Tree and you can get these figures right here. For example, we have the micro machine Woody here and the micro machine Buzz. And you'll see they're not the most detailed figures in the world. The buttons aren't even colored on Buzz Lightyear's chest. But at the same time, they are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So it's not a bad price. And I was suspecting that these were the same ones because, oh, Micro Machines, they probably didn't, you know, spend too much money changing the designs, but they did. So when you look at the Woody here, you can see this one's, oh yeah, I'm crossed darn. <laughs> and then over here, he's like, oh yeah, hey, what's up, howdy, partner? I'll let anybody in here. Toy Story 4, Woody. They're brand new Toy Story molds, and so is the Buzz Lightyear. So even if we have all the Dollar Tree ones, just a lot of them, we can now collect these ones. So let's check it out and see what the designs look like but we're also gonna be rating them as we go so let's check it out without any further ado let's <laughs> pop it open <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, it was a real pop there. <laughs> okay, let's pick this up and get into it. All right, so let's see it here. Who do we got here first? We got Mike right here, and I gotta say, he looks pretty cool. He's on this little blue surfboard, <laughs> but he is pretty cool. Pretty sick. Yeah. All joking aside, we have Mike right here. I always like to mess around with Mike and have him just covered up like he was in the movie. We're working for a better tomorrow. But our main man, Mike Wazowski, right here. Put that camera back, Mitchell. Or so help me. Or so help me. <laughs> he is super cute. And I mean, he doesn't look bad, though. Like, what are we going to rate him? We'll rate this on a scale of 10 scare canisters. Our goal here is because they're affordable, how good do they look in comparison to their real life counterpart or their PNG image on the back? But I give him like a solid little eight or nine, a little eight or nine canisters. Let's go ahead and do eight and a half is good. Eight and a half scare canisters on screen or in his case laugh canisters <laughs> all right next one let's do it there's so many of them here too like it just feels like there's no repercussions but oh Ooh. we got wally right here so wally is looking pretty clean i mean he's not looking as good as our adorable that we got a while back but the details are there wally is a yellow box too so i've always had a little affinity for wally he's one of my favorite movies i'll, I'll never forget him flying through the air <laughs> with the fire <laughs> extinguisher Even just the trailer for that was like, it lives in my head and that was like what I wanted to see the movie for. But I have to say what I love about Wally the most is just his little collection. Wally was one of the original collectors. If you check out his bunker that he had in there, he had some toys, you know, some little Easter eggs to other Pixar movies hidden in there as well. So he was like an original collector, but not just that, Wally was alone. He was on a desolate planet with the only friend he had being a roach. <laughs> a very, very cute cockroach. If all roaches look like that, I would be totally okay with an infestation, but they don't. No. Some of them look like this. 
Uh, Ryan blurted out because, you know, um, no one wants to see that. So we got Wild. They're both waving the same. <laughs> They're like, hey, come check out Pixar. We got good movies over here. So we're going to rate this by signs of life being this little plant in a boot. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that this one deserves maybe like a six or a seven because of the fact like you don't have where it says Wally. -E. Like they should have at least had the little tag that said Wally -E somewhere. But again, it's hard to give these a bad rating being that they're pretty affordable. Yeah, I'll give it a six. Okay, so six. Oh, damn. I'm like, I say instead of the affordable. No, I want even less for that. All right, we're giving it a six. Six signs of life on screen for Wally. -E. All right, no dupe city is, is holding strong. Let's keep it moving. Next one out of here. Oh, we got Miguel shredding the gnar. All right, all right, just settle down. I got neighbors, dude. All right. <laughs> you can't be doing that. I love his outfit, though. I feel like I had this outfit in middle school. Just general red jeans hoodie and, and jeans. Yeah. <laughs> but I've actually not seen Coco, so this is one of my few Pixar movies that I've never actually got an opportunity to see. I do need to check it out, though. You've seen Coco? I've seen Coco. Okay, what's your favorite about Coco? I think it's really cool. I really like Miguel goes through, you know, the afterlife and risks his life to save Hector's legacy and his music. I think it's really cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I gotta say the ice white guitar is a nice look. I, I hope somebody out there has this guitar in real life, but there's not a lot of detail on the guitar. His face is a pretty bad mold. And I also don't like that they didn't give him his own logo. Everybody else got their own logo. His just has a Pixar lamp, which is still cute, but I mean, come on, we could've got an actual Coco stand. I'm gonna go with uh, seven again, seven on screen. Seven's good, yeah. Yeah, let's see what we got here in this next one. All right, no dupe city. We got Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. I've got an AWOL Space Ranger. Tell me I wasn't this deluded. And you can see they did change Ooh, his design actually... significantly. I gotta say, I like that brighter green. And they actually painted his buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his buttons are painted. That's a good point. But they did progress in some places and de-progress in other places. Because the back of him, you can see there's paint on the back of this one. But on the back of this one, it's just all with Hey, let's move that extra green paint right up front. Which it kind of does look better because it is like what you see more. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one is better than this one for sure. Even his shoes are painted completely different. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say this one's better for sure. And comparing it to this one, I got to give this one a good old niner. Yeah, I'll go with that. So we'll give him nine star command ships out of 10. That's my favorite one so far. I mean, you probably could have figured that though. Yeah. <laughs> the Buzz Lightyear one looks so cool. We're going to put it next to Wally. I feel like that's what makes the most amount of sense. And we'll put him next to Mike because he's green. We'll put him next to him because he's got a blue base too. What? That's, that's another thing in common. All right, come on out. Who do we got? Oh, we got Hector. He looks cool, dude. He looks very skinny. <laughs> well, he's skin and bone. <laughs> he's literally <laughs> ain't no skin. He's just and bones. <laughs> there it is right there. We have Hector. Come on, yell. Belt it out. Go! <laughs> Ah, it feels good. So Miguel actually does save Hector and uh, helps him be remembered. And that's how the, the Day of the Dead kind of works is those that you remember and you actively celebrate, they stay with us on this plane as Hector did until he started to disappear from being, from being forgotten. But it sucks that the only thing that was tying him was his music. I mean, like he had family or friends. Yeah. <laughs> They'd been like, hey, Hector, I miss you, dog. <laughs> and then he would have stayed there a little longer, but I guess because his musical's getting forgotten, he was too. But nonetheless, Hector and Miguel are now together. And I haven't seen this one, so I'm going to let you hold the rating on this one. I'm going to give Hector like an 8 out of 10 lost eight. ancestors. And then we'll put him next to Wally since they're both dead. Wally's a robot. He's not dead, but you know, he is lifeless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Ooh. he is so cute. Oh Where's... my, that is my favorite one so far. Give him Finn. <laughs> give him Finn. I don't want it. <laughs> Noggin. Dude. He's got those big fins too, dude. He looks so cute with his big eyes. And I love that his shell pattern has like little floral Hawaiian flowers on it too. And Crash had a lot of kids. Ain't nobody talking about what kids Crash had. I was gonna say, I think he has like over a hundred something. I know, yeah, yeah. But Squirt was the most notable. So always try to be the Squirt in your family's life. You know, there's a lot of you out there. You can be a lot of cousins, a lot of brothers, but you can be the Squirt. Yeah. <laughs> you can be the rememberable one that's very cute. But we're gonna go ahead and put Squirt and we don't have anybody to put him by. Who should we put him by. I guess because he's not human, we can put him by him. I think he's like more iconic than Mike though. He's more iconic than Mike? <laughs> Just look at him. <laughs> he's green. Put him next to Mike. They're both green and you know, they're both not human. We're gonna put them next to each other. And Wally, he's not human either, but he's also not not human. And we are gonna give him eight P. Sherman Wallaby Way goggles out of 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got six out of the 25. Let's keep it moving. This one's a big, big one, man. So John Goodman or Mr. Incredible? Ooh. I still can't tell. I don't know yet. I think it's a... Uh... It's Sully! <laughs> <laughs> he is so cute, too. Yep, but he is a lot of figure, Dang. man. He's like a Funko Pop size. 
And he's giving you that little wave. I mean, obviously the mold lines on here are pretty atrocious, but it's a relatively affordable figure, so I can't even whine about that. He's got the actual Monsters Inc. base, and he looks really good next to Mike because they're both kind of waving at you. But so what are we gonna rate him then? I'm thinking he's gotta be less than Mike because he does not look as good as Mike. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him six. Five, six. I'll give him a five, honestly. Oh dang, five scream canisters? Yeah, five cr cream canisters on cream. screen. <laughs> I mean scream canisters, yeah. Now they have to go together. No, that's, now you messed me up. Now I'm putting them over here. Oh, okay. And, so he will go next to Mike because that just makes sense. But should he go closer to Buzz or should he go closer to Squirt? Go next to Squirt. He's more of an animal like Squirt. Yeah, that's true. He is very, well then now I feel like we're talking about Miguel the animal. He is okay. an animal on the guitar. He shreds like one, that's for <laughs> sure. We'll put him in between Buzz Lightyear. There we go. So it becomes not alive, kind of alive, really alive, sort of alive, and then not human at all. Oh, this one feels really tiny. So let's go for this one. Here it is, Jack Jack. Oh, he I looks a little weird. <laughs> The orange on it is kind of cool though. Yeah, he's the only one with an orange base so far, so that's a little strange. And his eyes, he looks like Ms. Elastic and Syndro had like a side baby. Yeah. He does just... not look like Jack Jack. I think it's because the orange hair is not orange, it's uh, brown. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give him a four. <laughs> <laughs> so there he is with his orange base and he will go right between because now you're dead Artificially kind of alive kind of alive the start of life then youth of life and then Chris Evans man and then animal Let's check out our next one here. Come on. No dupe city, baby. Oh. We got Woody I've set my laser from stun to kill Oh, great, great. Yeah, and if anyone attacks us, we can blink him to death. And his legs are almost as skinny as Hector's, but a little bit more meat in the bones because he's got some fluff. Let's see if he works here. Hey, uh, one out of 22 phrases. <laughs> <laughs> the molding's not bad. So comparing him to his micro collection, I got to say the micro collection has a more vibrant hat and also boots. Like, the, that, it just looks overall better. I think the paint job is better, yeah. Yeah, so in this situation, the Dollar Tree one's actually a little bit better than this one. So I mean, your ultimate Buzz and Woody combo is these guys right here. This one from the Mystery and this one from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So we have to give him at least like a six. I gotta give him a, I mean, he's Woody. I'm gonna give him a seven and a half. And he will go right before Buzz because, you know, he was connected to Andy. He's got a little bit more life in him than I would say Buzz, who only recently became sentient. Didn't they reset him in one of them? <laughs> yeah, he got reset and he also became Spanish too. ¿Quién anda ahí, amigo? Oh, enemigo. All right, let's see what we got here. And it is, oh, oh, that is so cute. The bases have changed completely. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can't breathe on bases. Yeah. <laughs> you can breathe with fins in water. So we have the water right here to hold up Dory. Dory was a very, very popular character. She even got her own movie. Ooh, we need uh, Dory. To find what are you doing? A voice by somebody not so popular in these days, but <laughs> yeah, an amazing fish nonetheless. And like I always say, when it comes to shows like Ren and Stimpy, it comes to Drake and Josh. And I guess now in this case, maybe not as bad, Dory. It doesn't really matter what you think about the person who's involved with the character or the show. The voice is the voice or the designer is a designer. What they do outside the show is completely separate from the work and the actual character personality and the development that is Dory. So let's not take anything away from Dory because of the actions of few. So Dory is going right here and where would she go she will go right here after Squirt because he's more monster like yeah <laughs> with that shell turtles are one of those few creatures like crocodiles you're like how have you survived this long you're just still here from the dinosaur ages and we we're gonna give her actually i forgot what we we're gonna rate her let's move on to the next one next up come on no dupe city baby oh, oh. we got nemo don't touch the book nemo Dude, the Nemo set is the cutest. Yes. Like, Nemo is adorable, dude. And, like, he has little detailed flaws on his face, but he looks like a little cute, dirty chimney sweep boy. <laughs> he looks so adorable. And he has all of his clownfish features. And he has the smaller fin versus the bigger fin, of course. I gotta say, Nemo, we're giving him probably the highest ranking so far. I'm gonna give him 10 sandwich baggies out of 10. Poor Nemo. <laughs> Too soon. Poor little guy. And then, Dory's fleeting memory brings her closer to death, so we will put Nemo at the most alive of the non human character. <laughs> oh, this has got a little frame around it. I don't remember these having frames. So let's see what we got here. Oh! Violet. We didn't get anything. Oh, there she goes. We got Violet <laughs> with that invisibility power. For a second, I couldn't even recognize her. <laughs> you want to give her a nice touch, Mitchell? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Force field powers. <laughs> we have Violet. She does have the orange stand as well. I mean, she's pretty simple. Nothing too crazy going on with her, but the mold in her face is a little wonky. I'll give this one uh, eight. And for her, she's going to go... You would 
think because she's older than Miguel, she's gonna go more this way. But that early 2000s Avril Lavigne skater boy personality is gonna land her just above Jack Jack. Shut up, you little insect. All right, next up, let's see what we got here. Oh, we are killing Ooh. it. We have Boo right here, That's and she is the cutest one yet. Is she really? She's got a, a big boil on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she look like Al from Al's Toy Barn? Like in the costume? <laughs> like that does not look like Boo. If you cover this up, that is cute. I agree, Mitchell. But did you see her face? <laughs> she could have been the monster in her own room. I am going to give her, because of that big molding on her face that's there. I don't know if the camera's even picking it up. We're going to go ahead and give this one um, three scream canisters out of ten. Oh, where does she fit in the lot? Oh, dead lat. No. <laughs> no, she's a toddler. So she she will go just above Jack Jack. <laughs> so there we go. They are getting older and more mature. This collection is getting huge. Like you get this whole bag. You've got a whole Disney collection here. How many is that? 13? So we're halfway there. Looking good now. Nothing else is in the ray besides this little tag. Go ahead, check it out. Oh, oh, I thought for a second, I thought that was gonna be a, I just pull these legs out. Those legs said Violet, but that body said 18 wheeler, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's built like a truck. He is there and he is not moving. The bulk master. Mr. Incredible has been bulking since birth. Do you know what these pecs produce? Monster. Would you say something like stop doing this, Mitchell? I was thinking monster energy or something. No, muscle milk. So let's go ahead and move him over here to a full blown man. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. We have another one to the set. And we are going to give him, I'm going to give him eight. And I also like how glossy around his feet are. See how glossy around his feet are? Kind of look like he peed himself, which is cool. Okay. All right, I just need that. This is incredible. I know. I don't know what we got here. Let's just go for it. Next up, we got, oh. Is there a boilless boo? Uh, this is boilless, you're right. But it's like you could clearly see she's bald in there. <laughs> <laughs> like she's definitely bald That's in there. That's Tommy. He's just hiding in there. <laughs> yeah, it makes it so uncomfortable. But that is better than the boo we have right here. That's a little square. We never see a square like that. What do we got here? Oh, oh that's Bruce. sick. We have Mr. Bruce. It's all right, I understand. Why trust a shark, right? He's got the nice blue towel and the little wave too, but I feel like you need a lot bigger of a wave to get a shark that big yeah. out the water. Like his friends are like, I think one's a hammerhead. One's just like a general shark, I guess. And then he is clearly like a megalodon. But this one's been a murderer. Look at that tattoo above his eye. This one's ate fish and killed other sharks for a living. We'll give him eight frazzled uh, friendly fish out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite fish in the movie. And him, where does he go? I think he would go right above a monster. I mean, he is a monster. Yeah, he's basically a monster, you know. He became more friendly towards the, you know, the later movies, but we're gonna go ahead and put him right here above monster, but he's still an animal. And the most animalistic of all being Nemo, who wouldn't hurt a fly. Or he might eat the hell out of a fly, but he wouldn't hurt anything else. All right, come on, what we got here? Randall! Oh! Nice. Dude, that's the sickest one so far. He Absolutely. looks so clean, too. You gotta love Randall. He is the spice in the Monsters, Inc. movie. Say hello to the Scream Extractor. But it was just, he was so conniving, so suspicious that like, you just didn't know what would he do? What would he do if he got his hands on Boo? We didn't know whether he was gonna give it to like the lead guy, which is that crab dude, who we did, he was not nice. Or just like, maybe have her like locked up for like some kind of like internal scream battery. You know, like who knows what they would have done had they gotten their hands on Boo. One of the scariest Pixar villains for sure. And he is gonna go right above Sully as being probably the most monstrous. I'd say he's more of a monster than Sully, because Sully has a good heart. You wanna give him nine screen? Yeah, he may have a bad heart, but he's got a great mold. So we're gonna go ahead and give him, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and give him 10. I'm gonna give him 10 scream canisters on screen for Randall. Okay, let's check it out. So far, we're on the track to get the whole set. Ooh, whose arm is that stretching out? Miss Elastic. Look, you better slam dunk on you. Miss Elastic, man. All right, we got a Miss Elastic out and she has a very beautiful figure as always. She is stretched out, ready for action. You see that? Look at that, reaching to you. Her eyes are a bit derpy though, but I'm gonna go ahead and give her seven on screen. Although he is the man and very powerful, I think women could be considered the core of life. So because of that, I am gonna put her right above Mr. Incredible as far as life goes. Because at the end of the day, there would be no Mr. Incredible if it wasn't for all the Mrs. Incredible 
gold out there. All right, next one up here, we've got, oh, we're on five. Eve is so big. Dang. <laughs> Eve is so big compared to everybody. I don't even feel like she's this big comparatively to Wally in the movie, but nonetheless, we have Eve right here, and her mold is very simple. She's all white with a very simplistic black face with the blue light up eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a easy eight or nine out of, out of 10. Yeah, I'll go with a nine. Yeah, I mean, it's just clean. Nothing wrong with it, but at the same time, like you can't really go wrong with her character either. So let's just do, do nine on screen for Eva. And you would think she would go above Wally on the scale of life, but considering that she needed Wally in order to find the source of life that she took back to by and large, we are gonna put her only slightly more alive than a <laughs> lifeless Hector. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. And Merida here, who always has beautiful hair. One of the most underrated movies for Pixar. And it's like kind of crazy because I think it's the only princess movie that's Pixar because Tangled's Disney, Frozen's Disney. But I think when people think about Merida, they kind of think about her in that same group, right? Yeah, it's like interesting. So the only Pixar princess then? Off the top of my head, she might be. But she is a princess nonetheless and Pixar. So we are going to have to rate her. I'm going to go ahead and rate her. The hair is getting a 10 out of 10 bullseyes. But the face within that hair, that's getting a 6. And then what's more than that is this hand on the hip. What the heck? <laughs> that little weird hand is getting six. So let's go with seven bullseyes on screen for Merida. So she has the same attributes as Fantastic here, except for she's brave. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her here. The Woody. Yeah. All right, next one up. Come on. Oh, we have our dupe, Dory dupes. Oh no, she's flopping on the deck like a fish. What do we got here next up? Oh, big mama slug. Go. <laughs> Hello, Wazowski. How much would it cost for you to let Ross sit on your face? That's disgusting. That's not disgusting, dude. You don't want to know what I got down here? I, I, I've got nice hair. The Jack Jack special. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jack Jack go to the same barber. <laughs> so what are you giving it? I'd say if she's that small, I'd say like two grand. You're very cheap for her to sit on. But she does look like in her likeness for sure. It's just interesting that they would have chosen her of any character from Monsters, Inc. to also make a minifig of. But she does look pretty good. What are we going to give her? I don't know, I'll give her two. <laughs> <laughs> We'll give her four Mike Wazowski's out of 10. <laughs> just because nobody really wants this in their house. But if mean? you're a Ross fan out there, let me know. But she's kind of a gross creature. I feel like she's the first one to <laughs> maybe go behind Hector in terms of being dead. Like she's her- more dead inside than a dead skeleton? Yeah, her dead in job has made her more dead than Hector. So we're gonna put her at the end. Her personality <laughs> is so unvibrant that she is more lifeless than a skeleton. And so unviolent could not be with the monsters. You get that forky or? No, no forky, but you could use this hand for a fork. <laughs> we got Miss Elastic again. Welcome to No Dupe City. And in No Dupe City, you've only got one villain to worry about, and that's me. <laughs> All right, next up, come on, No Dupes. Ooh, Bo Peep. So we have the Bo Peep to go with our Toy Story set right here. She's very simple, and I mean, like, the design is really good, though. They have a lot of colors all over her, from her armbands to her Bo staff itself. Not really my favorite version of Bo Peep, but still a sick character. Come on, follow me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give her... I give her a seven. Okay, Mitchell's giving her you a seven. Seven sheep on screen. And then she's gonna go right between Buzz and Woody, just like she did in number four. She will separate the group from the people you love, just like that. So there she goes, right there between Buzz and Woody. Who do we got here? Is it Merlin or Nemo? Is it Nemo or Merlin? I wanna say that's Nemo. And the father is not Merlin! It is not Merlin, it is Nemo. I feel bad for hitting No Doop City. Terry got a bad life with one fin missing almost. Uh, uh, now he's got no fins. Oh, that one's tiny. Okay, but is it? Get that one out of here. Boo Boo Brown's head. Jack Jack. We don't need Jack 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 Jack. Every time I hit somebody, it gets younger and younger. All right, next up, let's see what we got. Ooh. It's over here. It's over here. Now it's over here. Now it's back here. <laughs> you want to see me put it down? Yeah. You want to see him go back and down again? Yeah. <laughs> we have Dashy and dude. And Dash for me is like a character that I really, because when The Incredibles came out, I was around Dash's age. So he was my favorite character. I thought he was so cool. I totally related to him, like hating school, pranking his teachers. And I even love him doing the track race and him having to slow down and yeah. his parents cheering him on like, ah, a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Comfortably in a second. But I, I'll never forget the Incredibles 
video game that was on the Xbox, PlayStation 2, and there was actually a mission where you were actually able to run as Dash. He was late to school, you'd have to catch up with the school bus. Dash is so cool! And I would play that level on literally repeat because I thought it was so much fun. The adrenaline of racing through the city, dodging through all the cars and trying <laughs> to catch up. It was so much fun. If any of you guys grew up with that game, you guys probably remember those levels too. An awesome one. Dash right here, I love him. He's gonna be going somewhere solid and we gotta give him 10 super suits out of 10. Let's do it. <laughs> Dash, I think he's gotta go above Miguel because I think his heart's beating a little faster. Yeah. You know? <laughs> all right, next one. Ah, I thought I had a friend in you. Oh, I can't hit the Woody. All right, next one we got here. Let's see it. Ah, oh, big solar. Really sullying this lineup <laughs> we got going on. <laughs> yeah. So, him, we don't need to raid again. Come on, come on. Get something new here. Ah, buzz in the blue. Another dupe. Okay, next one, come on. Let's see. Oh, we have Rex. Rex. Honestly, I didn't even know Rex was in this line. I kind of forgot which ones came in here. I like that, man. He's smooth. <laughs> Rex is always super cute. He is adorable considering he is one of the biggest, most vicious toys. He is the biggest scaredy cat of all of them. Oh, I'm going for fearsome here, but I just don't feel it. I think I'm just coming off as annoying. He's a super cute character. I mean, we've got to see him in all the Toy Story movies. A very, very lovable giant who's very scary, but more scared of you than he could be to anything else. <laughs> so him, he has to go right. Oh, that's a tough one. I think he should go right in between these because he's a toy and a monster. But he's also like less scary than Mike. Yeah, so I think right here is perfect. This is a huge set though. You mean like, look how many you get in this box. Like I can't compare that to any other figure set as far as volume goes. Like that's a lot. All right, next up here we've got mikey no we don't oh this is a tiny one i feel like this could be our, our marlin maybe yes it is marlin <laughs> look at his face <laughs> It looks like he just saw the Barracuda eat all his kids. <laughs> that is not okay. Why does he look so distraught? Okay, we're gonna give him a low tier just because he looks so terrified. Look at it from the side. Like right here, it looks funny how scared he looks. But when you get it, that just looks depressing. Like he looks like he should be like belonging in one of those liminal spaces. Like that is not good, Marlin. Nemo is just over there. You're yeah, fine. He's right down here, I promise you. <laughs> he's up, he's over here, you know. You just start having a more lively attitude, you might get a little closer up to him. So Marlin. Marlin, we're gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a five for the face. Yeah, yeah. five's a good number. Five, five goggles out of 10. And where are we gonna put him? I don't think it's fair to put him anywhere else than right next to his newfound friend, Dory, his found family, if you will, and still scared, it's okay. All right, now we need one left here. What do we got here? Come on, we got two left to open. Yes, it is Forky. I did not know that would be the last character. We've got Forky right here from Toy Story 4 just like me. Trash. So that is perfect. We have him. I mean, he looks pretty good. He looks like he belongs in the trash, but also very cute. Isn't that where he wants to be? In the trash? Yeah, but we're not going to give it to him. Unless he was a double, then you could have belonged in the trash, but you couldn't do that, could you? You also can't be a fork or a spoon, but you can be both. He is an interesting one. I'm giving him eight very tasty containers of paste out of 10. Okay. Don't eat paste though, but it, it, damn, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but he is going to go. Well, he's not alive, but he's not humanoid enough to be like the toys over here. I think that he is right above Roz, because he wants to die, but he's also not quite still living through it like Roz. Yeah. Like Roz wants to die, but she committed to it. Him, he's just in the middle. <laughs> there we go. We have the entire Pixar set of micro collectibles. This whole line is honestly amazing. The quality and the moldings of them are not impeccable. They're nothing that's gonna blow your mind as far as like the details go, but if you want a solid group of figures here to have to collect or even just to play with or even just for filler in a greater collection this is a very good value being able to get 25 different character figures in your collection at once i couldn't recommend it anymore i'm giving it a 100 percent pass all day just because you know growing up i would have loved to have accessible toys and collectibles like this more so now that you can get toys like this for a freaking a buck unbelievable and i'm so happy for the kids growing up nowadays we truly live in the future we're very fortunate so on that note thank you guys so much for watching this this video stick around we're gonna add a couple a couple you know which ones probably to the collection so stick around for that but before that you guys know the drill scan it 
So we are here in the Toy Story collection. Everything on this shelf, as always, is under $20, including these brand new figures we just added right here. So I added all the micro collections over here for Toy Story, including Bo Peep, which Mitchell just showed you guys was over here, hiding behind the Bo Peep Funko Pop. So the other Disney characters we're actually gonna add into the other room. A couple of them here and there as filler characters, but honestly, the majority of what I was looking for during this video was all those Toy Story ones. So I'm glad that we got all those. And that was just a blast to open. All right, guys, that is actually it for this one, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So make sure you guys smack the like button if you guys haven't already. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go follow on Whatnot, where you get $15 off your first purchase. And if you're trying to buy collectibles, there's a bunch of options on there. SpongeBob stuff, Nickelodeon, you name it. And if you're looking to get rid of any of your stuff to make some extra money to go back into your collection, which I highly recommend, you can do that also on Whatnot. So I'll put the links to both those things down below in the description, along with hopefully see you guys over here here and this video on screen. Another awesome video on this channel that I know you're gonna love. So I'll see you guys in that one. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.